Oh no. Look at this walk. So pretty. The teenager walk! Crab lice? Hello everyone! Welcome back to my Not So Very Let's Play. Super excited to play again. It's been a long time. I pre-recorded a lot of those videos. So I'm playing for the first time since the wedding pack came out. <laughs> so I haven't even updated my game. That is what I'm going to do right now. But last episode, see it's preparing it. <laughs> last episode, Lotus reached level 8 in wellness and is getting closer and closer to finishing the postcard collection so that we can pass the torch down to Peony. And Peony is going through an antisocial phase and a fox ate my chicken. Poor Click. Uh, Peony and Lotus weren't super good friends with Click, so neither of them were actually affected by its death, her death, but the fox still ate the chicken. So Peony wants to raise a baby kit, a fox baby, uh, to maturity so that it'll play nice with the chickens. So that's what we're going to do this episode as soon as my game finishes. And I already updated all my mods, so hopefully nothing breaks <laughs> while we play. It'll be great. Last episode we ended, she was meditating and Peony was in here playing piano and asked her mom if she could get a fox. So she legit went over and lo and behold, a little fox kit. I'm going to say she found like an abandoned fox kit, if you've ever seen Fox and the Hound. But. This is little giggles. I figure Penny likes comedy. Sure, why not? Maybe that's what she would call it. It's your new best friend. It looks like everything is good. I want her to pick him up and go home. Pima, Blashu, Organor. Oh. <laughs> Okay, they're friends now. So cute. Okay. Sticking our fox home. Good, and then I'd like. Oh, yeah, ask to go potty. There you go. Oh. <laughs> So she is feeling antisocial, so I feel like this is perfect because she won't really want to hang out with like her friends, but now she has a new puppy, which will be good. And I'm going to say this little nook back here is going to be the foxes. Also, she's now a teenager, so I'm going to change up her style a little bit. Pet stuff. You can start dyeing her hair, actually. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Wow, I'm really out of it today, if you can't tell. Peach, follow your dreams. Wanted to be a detective, comedian. Um, I think she started to realize she wants to be like a detective. Or we could have her be comedian first. And while she's at school, she's like, oh, the um, debate club is pretty cool. I guess that wouldn't really be detective. I don't know. I'll look. Don't have to worry about it yet, but I will look. So peach. We have pink. Really, really bright pink. This... Here we go. That's more peach, I would say. These don't have that option, so we'll stick with pink. Okay. Good. Everything is ready. I'm super extra. Okay. I'm not changing anything major. Maybe dyeing her hair a little bit. She's gonna try it out. Oh, 
I don't know if I'll have any peach colors. Okay. I kind of like the idea that she's going into comedy first, and that's what she goes to university for, and then finds out on the way mm. that she really likes that. That's just what I think. Mm. I kind of like these vibes. Like, she tried, but... One just always is sliding down for her. <laughs> I quite like that. I also think I'd like to give her more freckles. I don't think it'll let me though. Yeah, no. Okay. I'll give her more freckles next time I come and cast. Let's see. Oh, she looks so different. Hmm. Very cute though. If she gets asked out to like a dance or something. Party. She's cute. Okay. Yeah. That's her new style. I think that's... I hate how I do not like this outfit. Never mind. <laughs> Take it away. Alright. Good. With a soak! Ugh. What's happening to my game? Oh, okay. She's singing about her brother and diapers. I told you. Patchy babies, man. Okay, I'm getting her up at six. Call her chicken to eat. We are actually going to purchase black rooster and another hen chick. Girl, why are you eating in the rain? Bakinja. Eat pie for breakfast. That's awesome. She's like, I got stung by a bee. Why? Oh yeah. Take your pills. I don't know what that means. I do not know why. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna have her drink. Oh. Orange juice. Can Kubu Koiba? Ah, oh, yes. Yanni B. Yanka. Zilnoi. Abshani, Binaru, Bluff Rabla, Bin Fahab, Vula Shaka, Abimi, Glib Bonkusha, Bifala for Doi, Yebani, Demi. She's like, Mom, you can eat the rest of this. <laughs> eat this pie, please. She didn't complete that assignment. It's still here. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I'm actually gonna have her go to bed. Cause she stayed up all night writing her book. Excellent. How is she? Published 10 books. Alright, I've got a few in the works, so that's good. Oh no. She's like, not my problem. <laughs> Mail. Okay, we got a few chores we gotta do though first. Patchy! Oh, 
don't know why he's watering the plants when it's already raining, but okay. Oh, he's cleaning up the puddle. What's up, mom? Go ahead. I do want them to be a little romantic because they're alone in the house. And she's not in the mood. Okay. <gasps> sure. Penny is enraged, though. I don't know why you invited him over. You are not- Look at this walk. So funny. The teenager walk! Oh my gosh. So great. And look, Holden's just like, um... <laughs> are you really not- Are you really that unhappy that I came over? She's like, yes. Frickin' please. What are you doing? Oh, she is not having it. She's not okay. She's in rage. It's because she needs to just be in her room. Maybe I'll make her room a nice, like, teenager place. Ooh, she's flirty now. She was like, oh, I'm supposed to go talk to him? Okay, where is he? Oh, we're in Peony's room. Probably not. I kind of want to see what they do. Oh, that's cute. Bantering. Nervously asked for your boyfriend. Yes, do it. It's kind of awkward with him right here, but there you go. Cute. For whatever reason, she can't do that, so... Huh. Oh. Penny's like, I can't even go up to my room because he's there. Oh, he's having issues. Oh no. Call him. Down. Onions. <laughs> She's like, that's so sad. Onions. And you miss? Oh, Go ahead and calm them down. Oh. Is something going on that has fireworks? Is there a fair? No? I just heard fireworks, I swear. Oh, was it the TV? No, oh, the TV's off. Oh, was it y'all up here? Oh, it must have been. Well, someone was satisfied then. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if she's pregnant. She seems fine now. Go ahead and eat. Why do people read books? That's easy. Because they like the author. You've got a good reputation and that's all I need to know. We can make a great writer out of you. Normally we'd start you with a small blog that no one would read. But because you're such a big deal, we'd like to make you a regular contributor. Okay, actually, this is perfect for her. I mean, she wants to be a freelance writer so she can write whatever she wants. But she could be a regular contributor and write what she wants on the side, but also be paid. I say we try it out. And she just has to write books. That's all she has to do. We need to go get the mail. She's still super enraged. I might have Lotus. Lotus is tired, but I might have her come be like, hey. Oh. 
<gasps> Wait, how did that happen? I thought I had like five. Ooh. It's done! Close card collection is done. All I have is wellness, and that is everything. Okay, I want her to talk her through her emotions. I want you to encourage her good grades. Oh. And encourage Peony to redirect her anger. I think that's good. It's like, Mom, I really just don't want to talk about it. The lock. Oh, Corby! Hmm. Bretonu! Dumma! Oh, Plushies of Reesey! Sabani! <laughs> Frodema <laughs> Rothese! Mubu's Kenda! Belindy! She's feeling very rebellious and seek to challenge parental authority. Oh. <laughs> so not only is she like antisocial right now. Oh, I guess it got replaced. She must have grown out of it. Now she's rebellious. Oh no. She's gonna argue with her mom. Jeez. She could be in the, the classics, like, old-fashioned. She kind of gives me that vibe. Like, I really don't see her with, like, a super nice speaker system. Hmm. I totally can see her with, like, a gramophone, though. I'm gonna say she moved this up to her room. I love how it's just like listen to loud music. <laughs> I don't know what kind of music she likes, but that's what she's gonna do. She's too mad to even walk all the way over there and turn it on. Steve, Steve. <gasps> oh, he can go up and down downstairs now. Wilson. You could totally hear it. Even with the walls closed and her like humming noise. You could totally hear it. I feel like she'd be so mad. What did it say? She can now give fertility massages. Oh, very cool. That's the only one we got and we finished it. I guess if the game says so. Do we get anything for that? Like, I know we got a plaque. Whoa, I have so much stuff. Oh, wow. Do we not get a plaque for finishing it? We just get the notification that it's finished. Oh, that's cool. Her open book can be that's weird under the window. Oh yeah, they can go here. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna say he totally woke her up. <laughs> so usually it takes puppies three times. However, <coughs> Giggles is a stubborn puppy. Okay. Crab lice? Why does Patchy have crab lice? That's weird. <laughs> I can't understand. Because he's in the wild. That's a little concerning. Okay. Well, why don't you... 
Why don't you go to the wonderful store first thing, then? And get a few bottles, because we can't treat Patchy, because he's a straw man. Okay, and you have school. I'm just gonna like five minutes, that's fine. Okay, here's the thing. She's totally fallen out with her brother over this entire situation. And I just, I feel like this is him reaching out and it's been long enough now. I don't know if she would have forgiven her brother yet though. Maybe she'll invite him. Actually, you know what? Maybe this is a good episode. She's gonna deny him. She's not gonna even respond. And she's rebellious. I feel like... I don't know how you could be rebellious against freaking Lotus, though, because she... <laughs> like, she doesn't have... Her only rules are that you do your chores. She hasn't been doing... Oh, she has not been doing any of her chores. Look, she didn't even sell her strawberries. Okay. She wants to do any routine. Family friendly. Half day. I am wanting them to have babies, but I don't know if he can impregnate. I don't know if it is possible. I kind of want to teach it to 100% and see what happens. I'll think about that. Did he understand? Did he understand? <gasps> Good boy. He totally understood. She went to bed. She's just listening to music. <laughs> I think this is the last day I'll play. This episode was a little bit more on the like chill vibes, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> but we had Jonathan come over. Uh, Lotus leveled up in wellness to nine. We also completed the host card collection. Look at this lovely wall now. Absolutely amazing. Lotus got offered a career position in the writing career because she's so good at writing books. And she's still going through her phase, right? Oh no, she's not. She grew out of it. Okay, so she's not being rebellious anymore. I don't know what's going on with her. Neither does her mom, apparently. <laughs> also, is he still a preteen? Oh, he got really tall. Oh! Look how much taller he is. Oh, dear, Koi. Uh, I'm so really, oak. really close together. Fwiz. Noosh Dombalea with Dava. Freeba. Does she find him attractive? Guma. On a very, very unattractive. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what about her other friends? Oh wait. Nothing. Hey, Bo. I don't think she's into girls. Yes, it doesn't even come up. Bianca. Yeah, I wonder Bob. if she starts thinking now that she's out of her like phases. She's like, you know, I kind of want to make my friendship stronger and my relationships in my life stronger. And she starts thinking about her other mom. Maybe she does. She's like, maybe she. <laughs> she. <laughs> She's like, it's time to enter my like phase of self-discovery, finding activities I like doing and hobbies and routines. I think she likes classical. Oh, 
but who am I? Look, it's perfect. I was right. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up, and all my friends seem to have figured it out. She just hung out with a ton of her friends. I wondered if they I wonder if they talked about it. How do I figure it out myself? Pick something you like or no worries, you've got time. So Lotus is supposed to encourage her to follow her dreams. So I would think she would say pick something you like. Which leads to Peony being like, oh, I love comedy. I should go for that and trying out all these different hobbies to see if she likes them or not. And I don't know what leads into the detective career. Maybe she starts watching murder mysteries. <laughs> we'll see. I'll think about it and what could possibly spark that interest in her. Because I don't think she would do that right away. Maybe if she starts taking classes. I don't know. Oh, she's up again. I'm actually, I would like to see. I know I said I was going to let the game do its own thing, but I'm curious. Are patchy babies a thing? We'll see. If she doesn't get pregnant, it means it's not a thing. Sweet. Thank you all for watching. I'm super excited to play next time as well. And I know this was kind of a more laid back episode, but there were a lot of developments that happened that I'm really happy with. Next time, I am going to push really hard to get Lotus to level 10 in wellness and also finish her aspiration for being a writer. And we'll probably get to see her go to work for the first time in the writer's career. Peony, we're going to have a lot of self-discovery, and I think that is going to be really fun to play as well. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Talk to you later.